All right, hey guys. In this walkthrough, I'm going to show you a little bit more about themed reviews in Readwise. It's basically an addition on top of the normal daily reviews that allows you to select tags or particular books to include in one separate review that you could do every day, but you could also do it once a week. You can schedule this in Readwise and it will not count against your streak number. That means that you have a lot of freedom to configure reviews exactly how you want them to work for you. Now, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through what themed reviews really are, basically showing a little bit what they do um, and a few that I've set up, then why they're useful. I'm going to talk a little bit about how I think we could use them and why I think that's quite a valuable addition to Readwise and also how I use them myself in Readwise, just a small walkthrough. And then last but not least, I'm going to share an idea of how I feel that Readwise and Obsidian can be used together using themed reviews. It's nothing technical and it's an experiment that I'm still going through, but uh, so far I think it's really quite nice. I'm going to set that up with you and I hope you find it useful and enjoy it. Let's get into it. All right, so what are themed reviews? First off, I think it's worth mentioning what a daily review is, which is the basic default review of Readwise. Now, I've already done my review for today, but this is basically how a daily review looks. You will get random highlights from books that you've read based on some of the things that you have configured. So for example, you can say, I want to get more highlights from a particular book, uh, etc. These are all settings that I cover in another video. I definitely recommend you to check that out if this is something you're not familiar with yet. As you can imagine, having daily reviews is already quite useful. I've mentioned that in a few of the other videos, having the ability to use information in a controlled way, we believe and I believe is, especially nowadays, a really good mechanism or system rather for making sure that you're not overwhelmed, but also that you're confronted with information that matters to you, right? So when it comes to Readwise and the daily review and all the configuration settings you have, um, it will already get you quite far in terms of making sure that the information you are confronted with on a daily basis, at least to a certain extent, is decided on by you. When you are in Slack or when you check your email or when you browse social media, you are basically not in control of the streams of information that you get confronted with. When it comes to Readwise, and of course what comes before Readwise, e.g. Uh, a book or an article or a podcast, um, that is generally consumption of information that you have control over. Now Readwise really adds another layer on top of this, making sure that the things that you feel resonate with you can then be resurfaced and then integrated more deeply into your life. They can be any topic really, so Readwise is a very flexible tool. Now, that is great on its own. However, there's a few cases where that's just not really enough. Um, if you have eclectic interests, for example, if I consider myself, I am interested in all kinds of random topics. That is quite difficult to combine in a daily review. I mean, I could theoretically create a daily review of like 30 highlights, which is obviously something that I don't feel I will be able to do. Uh, I currently have uh, seven highlights in my daily review, and then I have a themed review on top of that. And I'll go into what exactly that is in just a bit. And you can imagine that this becomes quite uh, difficult after uh, some time. It's nice to have random highlights show up, but it can also be quite a big context switch to go from a highlight that is about a very specific programming topic to a highlight that is about a very specific psychological topic. And I'm noticing actually during my data reviews that this becomes increasingly difficult. Um, and I do want to optimize for depth in my reviews. And I think this is a good example of where themed reviews um, can be extremely useful. Readwise itself has written a blog post and Aaron, the community manager, made a great video of themed reviews as well as a recommendation to check that out. And in that video, they go through how you can use themed reviews. And a good example uh, that she also shares, and this is exactly the way I use it, is as follows. This is what a themed review is. You can select a particular topic that is interesting to you. So in my case, it's stoicism and wisdom, neuropsychology, or software engineering. These are things that I already prepared. Now, this gives me the ability to go through a few highlights that are closer in terms of cognitive proximity to each other. I do feel that there's some merit to this because 
once I've read a highlight from a software engineering book, it is quite a lot more effective to me to then read a few more highlights that are related to the programming topic as a whole that will help me process the information uh, more effectively. And also it helps you link ideas within a particular domain. Now it's also quite cool to link ideas cross domain, but the more specific your highlights get, the harder it becomes. So let's just go through a latest review. These are a few reviews that I consider part of my neuropsychology themed review. My neuropsychology themed review is set up to help me find more highlights related to psychology, but also neuroscience. And in some cases, uh, it will contain certain biological principles as well. Um, it, for me, it's a pretty broad topic. I'm not a super specific uh, researcher in, in this area at all, but it's just a kind of innocent curiosity, I guess. So this is the way I set it up. It's relatively broad. So I've got things about the way dopamine works. I've got things about psychology, from how to win friends and influence people, which is definitely a lot more kind of applied social psychology, I think. Um, it doesn't really have, have a lot of research underlying it, so it's important to mention that, of course. Um, now, there we have the dopamine article again, and we're done. Woohoo! Okay, so that's a great example, I think, of how you could use themed reviews. I'm very curious to see what you guys come up with. So let's just go through a themed review and how to set one up. In this case, we have Stoicism and Wisdom. Um, what I did is I selected Stoicism, Wisdom, Meditation, and Philosophy as the tags that I want to include in this themed review. You can do more than this. So it's not only tags that you can select. On top of this, you can actually, if we scroll down, you can select particular articles or books, of course, basically content types that you've included in Readwise on top of tags. This is really quite helpful because what you can also do if there is a particular book that you've studied for, for example, and you really want to go through, uh, you can set up a themed review for that as well. You can create unlimited themed reviews, which really leaves a lot of options open. Um, that means that if there is a few books that you want to review more often, you can use that. A nice addition is that you don't have to review your themed reviews every single day. So it's important to note here. So if we're doing our typical Readwise thing, it's a normal Monday morning, you feel like doing Readwise, and you do the daily review. You're done with the daily review, you have a few themes reviews set up, and perhaps the frequency is set to every day. That means that there is a themed review for that particular Monday prepared for you. However, you do not actually miss a streak if you skip a themed review. And I think this is quite a, a well thought through design decision um, because it allows you to set up a lot of themed reviews and pick whatever you really want when you finish your daily review. You will still see the total amount of highlights that were prepared for you. So my daily review actually contains seven um, highlights, but including my themed review for today, I am at a total of 13. So it's nice to know here and important to mention that you will not lose your streak if you skip a themed review. However, it will show that you have not um, actually gone through all the highlights for that particular day yet if you haven't done your themed review. This as I said, really helps you to use themed reviews because you can create like 10 themed reviews, then plan them, but still kind of select which one you want to do in a particular day. Um, and it allows you to be extremely flexible with them. Next to the sources, you can also select the amount of highlights you want in your review and you can tune the frequency. So in my case, I've set a custom frequency um, and this is Monday. Thursday, Saturday at 12 p.m. You can go quite far with this, so you can really, really configure it to your heart's extent. So if I say weekdays, I can do weekdays at a particular day, but I can also say custom, and then here I go. So this really allows you to customize exactly when you want to receive a particular theme review. You know, maybe you want to have the time to go through philosophy for the week, and so you could set up a theme review to get in your inbox every Sunday that you have some priming for the week going on, basically. This is a good example of where I feel that themed reviews are really useful. Now, this is a basic use case of themed reviews. Um, I also saw in the amazing video that was created by Readwise, and this is something I want to implement for myself as well, so I'm just gonna walk you through it, is the following. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through a different way of using themed reviews. 
First of all, we're going to add a new highlights. So we're going to go to import highlights. And we are going to add a highlight with a freeform input. I'm going to create something I like to call a digest, a digest book, perhaps. Um, basically what it is, it is a collection of insights rather than highlights from a book. Because Readwise is not necessarily limited to things you get from books. You can actually also add your own insights and kind of redigest or digest insights that you've had in the past. So in my case, what I'll do is here, digest mental performance insights. And my author is me. I add the book and I'll create a new highlight. So I'm going to select a nice highlight. So then we go to Obsidian. I recently made a note. I made a note today about meditation. So here, I think this is a nice part. I think this is a good insight. A good insight on what meditation is. It's quite a long highlight, but it's fine. And I'll add this highlight. Boom, there we go. Okay, so uh, let's select another one and add the highlight. All right, so we have two highlights now in my own book. I added these two highlights. And then we're going to go to our themed reviews. We're going to add a new themed review. We're going to use our emoji picker. What shall we do? I think we're going to use a brain here. That's cool. Well, we already have a brain. So we're going to go for something different. Mental performance insights. Like light bulb moments, that, that's what we're going for here. And then the source is our digest. And we want to have, say, three. And we want to get them every day. We don't want to need, I don't want to get emails. And then we add our themed review. And there we go, mental performance insights. And the cool thing about this is you can actually use insights that you've had through synthesizing your second brain. And when you want to know more about synthesizing, I recommend you to check out our other videos, especially the Obsidian workflow that was released earlier this year. There's a link shown right now. It goes through my whole second brain setup. I'll be giving a completely updated walkthrough in a few weeks, maybe a month or so from now, uh, to walk you through all the changes that I've made, which uh, are quite a lot. But basically what you can do is th synthesize based on maybe a book that you've read or highlights actually from Readwise, and then find that you have a lot of new ideas popping up. You'll create Zettel custom notes, and at some point you want to reconsume those insights because you're, for example, doing research on a particular topic. Now, what you can then do is create your own book in this case uh, and put your highlights in there and then review those every now and then to kind of prime yourself to keep thinking about a particular topic. Now you can also add questions to these custom reviews. So you can also prompt yourself to ask, you know, in terms of a reflection question, maybe you want to have every Sunday, you just go through the reflection questions, um, just to prime yourself on how you feel about a particular thing. And I think that is a really nice way to use Readwise. It's basically almost like a reminder system but then slightly more sophisticated and slightly more focused on content and information. Now, I think there's a lot of other ways we can use themed reviews. I'm really curious to find out what kind of creative methods you find to use themed reviews in. Um, this is definitely something I'm going to keep doing and maybe I'll find more interesting ways to use this and I'll definitely include those in upcoming videos. If you have any questions or comments, let us know and don't forget to like and subscribe.